So I wake up this morning and I watch a video by Long Boys Post 1975 about basically whether or not you'd still be proud of YouTube if you had to pay for it. And I love Long Boys Post, by the way. If you haven't gone and checked out his channel, go check it out. So anyways, he asked the question, would you pay for YouTube if you couldn't? And my response to the comments below was, I don't believe we'll ever have to pay for YouTube because the only way that a website or YouTube would actually generate money is through the associated ad revenue that goes with it. And why in God's name would they make it more difficult for people like me, who's a content provider, to go ahead and put videos up so they can monetize them? All well and good, I go to work where I actually make the money that I use to live and buy this massive collection you can see in the background. And I come home and there's a bunch of other videos up. There's ones about, uh, I'm... <coughs> eh, it is hard, no editing. So there's other videos up about basically why people are now associating ads with their accounts. Why they're not doing it, why they're not going to watch videos with ads in it anymore. And that's all well and good. I don't have anything to say about anybody's choices because that's their choices and their choices to make, and who am I to judge what they do? Nobody. I'm nobody. I'm just a guy making YouTube videos myself. Let's play video games. But I do not really have an opinion, but I do have something to say about this. My comment earlier on the Long Boys post video goes to NT1138's video on why he basically started doing advertising on his videos, and his feelings on if we don't advertise on YouTube, Eventually, it will lead to us having to pay for our accounts. Well, I really kind of agree with what it's saying here. I mean, realistically, right now, we have the option on whether or not we want to monetize on our accounts. Some people do, some people don't. I have done it since day one. I'm going to continue doing it. Uh, I'll get to my reasons a little bit later, but I honestly believe that, you know, if enough people don't do this and YouTube doesn't make enough money from the AdSense accounts they're adding up there, or the ads in there, that realistically they probably are going to charge for the accounts or they're going to force us to have our videos monetized. It's not going to be an option anymore. Right now we have the option. But if they need to make more money and they don't want to charge us for YouTube, then bam, there's going to be ads on your videos. That's my feelings. That's my synopsis. Anyways, Back to why I monetize my videos. Uh, earlier this summer, I did a video game nostalgia video called Bosses You Couldn't Beat, and for some reason, it got pretty popular. I think it got uh, over 500 views in a couple weeks. Now, that's pop popular by my standards. So I'll explain it to you. My videos generally get somewhere around 250 to 300 views, which is awesome, and I'm very lucky to have that, but it's not huge by any means. So, <clears throat> uh, it, I got an email from... Google saying, or from YouTube, saying that I have now been approved for monetization. So I started doing some research into what monetization is, and I found out that it's actually the first step in the partnership program. So do I want to be a partner? Uh, I know there's lots of benefits to being a partner, not benefits. I don't really care. I'm just going to do what I want to do, and I'm going to try things to see how it works out. If I become a YouTube partner and I don't like it, I won't do it. It's pretty simple. I mean, I'm not tied to YouTube. Like I said earlier, I have a great job that affords me this very luxurious and unnecessary lifestyle. So I don't really need to become a YouTube partner to survive. But it's like a lot of people said. I mean, if you can make some money doing something you love, hey, why not? Now, <laughs> making money I mean, that's a little bit ridiculous, too, unless you're one of the bigger channels with, like, multiple thousands of subscribers, and you're releasing content on a pretty, you know, daily basis. You're not going to make any money on YouTube through monetization. Uh, let me explain that a little bit better. So you have your class of super celebrity, someone with, I don't know, anywhere from 50,000 to a million subscribers. Each of their videos gets a million views. Put out one a month, you're doing okay. Then you've got your mid-range. You've got the people, like, 40 or less. Probably uh, 
as much as probably 5,000 subscribers, they put out something every one or two days. The reason they do this is because they're never going to put out a video that's going to get like a million views. But what they will do is they'll put out a video that'll probably get four or 5,000 views each video. So if they can put out enough content, they can generate the same amount of ad revenue that the celebrity can generate through one video per month. Anyways, uh, this is pretty simple. You probably already know this. I don't know why I'm explaining to you again. I don't think I can use this video. Anyways, the whole point about this is I don't understand what the big deal is. If someone wants to monetize their videos, let them do it. Anyways, it's enough crazy rambling. I'm probably going to shoot this again. Like will be the Game Genie. I'll talk to you next time.